Hi, it's Doug Linner with Patch of the Week. And this week I'm going to be looking at the Euro Surge Ring Modulator. That's the LB Designs Euro Surge that's come out recently. It's the same old wonderful Surge in the 3U format. And uh, another new thing in front of you today is that there's also a scope here, a synthoscope from LB. And uh, I'm going to have that running a lot of the times as I'm doing these tutorials. And that's going to allow people to have some sort of visual reference for what's going on. Ring modulation is a form of amplitude modulation. And uh, it uses a carrier uh, wave and a modulator. And let me just hook that up to show you the basic operation. I'm going to take a sine wave. We're hearing it there, and we can see it on the scope. And now I've modulated it with a second VCO. And here we can switch between the original carrier frequency and the addition of the modulation frequency. And in its ideal state, a ring modulator outputs a sound that is devoid of the original two oscillator fundamentals. And uh, that's always true to one degree or another, but that is the ideal situation. So if we change the waveforms, we get quite a bit of a difference in timbres and effects. And of course, if we change the pitches themselves we get quite a few different uh, sorts of sounds and ring modulators are really well known for their kind of clangorous and bell-like sounds and uh, if the oscillators are harmonically related that's a, an effect that you can get quite a bit and then they become more clangorous when they're not harmonically related so Something that's different and special about the Serge Ring Modulator is that it has the ability to control the amplitude of both the X and the Y axis, both the modulator and the carrier frequencies. So let me show you a little bit of that. I'm going to take the smooth out of the smooth and step generator. So it's controlling the amplitude of the carrier. Here we're here in the carrier alone. And there's the mixed effect. We have the same opportunity on the modulator. Again, backing off and hearing only the carrier and adding the modulator. Of course, both of these can be done at the same time, and here I'm adding an envelope generator. And speeding it up. So very quickly you start to get far more complex sounds. And here on the scope you can see a representation of that. And here we're emphasizing more of the carrier again.
we can really extend that sound too uh, by using oscillators and I'm going to get a couple down from the mystery search and plug them in here and at that point we have kind of a double uh, uh, or triple amplitude modulation situation going on and so let me bring that back up so here I'm going to change the pitch of the oscillators that are controlling the amplitude of the X and the Y in the rain modulator So that gives you a lot of great opportunities. Uh, one thing I'll leave you with though is that another thing that you can do with this ring modulator and when you think about it it makes a lot of sense is that you can simply use it as a VCA if you need an extra one sometime. And that's something that the Surge is really great at is giving you ways to use a module in multiple ways and that's called patch programming. So here, I have this envelope generator you, acting as a simple voltage controlled amplifier or controlling the ring modulator which is acting as a simple VCA. And as I back off, we just lose it entirely, so it's like the typical offset on a VCA. And then of course we can also do that with the other axis, the frequency modulator. It will work, but in a much more subtle way. And here we go again. So there you go. That's the Euro Surge Ring Modulator, and this is Patch of the Week.